Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to explain how you can add your own shape data and then apply a data graphic to it. So I'm going to use a basic diagram, this one, and then I'm just going to bring on one shape. So these shapes themselves don't have any data, shape data elements attached to them, but you can create your own. So if you go to data, you can tick the shape data window and then it comes up there like that. But as you can see, it's blank. And if I right click on this and go to data, I can go define shape data there. That will allow me to create my own. So I'll call this one a mount. I want this one to be currency. So these are different options you get there. So I'll go for currency. I'll have a default value of zero. And then you can set some formats. I'll go for that one. And then I'm just going to leave it like that for now, clicking OK to that. So I've now got a data graphic over here where I can type a figure in. So I'll type 200 for this shape data, not data graphic. What I want to do now is put a data graphic icon on here to indicate what that figure is. So on the data tab also, you've got advanced data graphics on the right. And then you can click on create. So I'm going to click on create. This box comes up. I'm going new item. You have to select the shape data that you want to do it on. So in this case, it's on the amount. And then you've got different options there. You can have text, data, icons is what I want. So I'm going for icons. And then you've got a series of different icons that you can select. I'm just going to go for thumbs up, thumbs down. And you've got this options at the top here for position. It's going right at the top. I'm okay with that one. So it'll be the top right of the box. But this is where you now need to set your criteria. So I'm going for greater than and equals to 200. Put in there a few other different options. And then this one will just be less than, less than 200. Those are the two options, less than 200. Clicking OK to that, and then OK again. Yes, I do. Can't see it because the thing's the same color as the shape. So if I just come to a different color, you can see it there, look. So it has worked. So if you threw that and you think it's not worked, that's it, that's it there. So if I change this figure one, two, three in there, I should get a thumbs down. Now on the data tab, you've also got um, this option, insert legend. And I'll go for that one. Gives yourself a legend. Picking up the same color scheme. So if I go back to design and pick a different one, it picks it up. But now you're losing that a little bit. So you're going to have to go for a lighter, lighter design, probably even white. Go for white. And now you can see the legend there. Now, what happens when you bring another shape on is that that's not going to be on there. And now there is the shape data. So when you create your own shape data, what you should really do is then add that shape that you've just added it to. So in this case, this one, because that's got the data graphic on it as well, to your own stencil. So over here, I'm going more shapes, new stencil, metric. I'll call it, um, well, I'll put this on there first. So let's push that onto there. It comes up with master. I'll call it um, data graphic shape and that's that shape and then i can save this as whatever i want so i'll call it uh, data graphic shapes and then when i pull this one on so now i don't need this one now this has not got that data graphic on when i pull that one on it already has the data now i made a mistake there i copied that across with some figures in there I should probably have added that. I will just add it again without any figures. And I'll just call that Steve. So Steve would be the right one to use. If I pull Steve on, it's got zero figures in there. If I put a figure in there, the thing changes around and you can see the impact of the shape data. So that's what I would normally do. I'll just save that as well. So I'll create my own shape, add the things I want, the extra shape data information and then do the data graphic then i would put it into my own stencil save the stencil so i don't have to do this over and over again 
Now, if I get myself a different diagram, I'll just go to um, File New, get something like a flow chart. Click on just a blank one for this. Now, these I've already got preset shape data. So if I just bring a, a shape on, you can see already there's all this list here that you've got as part of this shape. You can still go and add to it. If you go into define shape data, you get in there. There's a current list, nothing stopping you clicking on new and adding another one. And then you can see it, the same process applies. And then you can pull that into your own stencil. Once you've edited this, you could even get rid of some of these. You don't have to have these. So quite a lot of the templates do have preloaded shape data, not the basic one though, which is what I've just shown you. So hopefully that was of use, this little video. Thanks for your time. I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.